first night, um, we knocked on the soup van door and asked if we could give stuff out to people. And they said, sure, you know, are you from an agency? And thought we had to be. So my friend just said, just tell me you're a helping hand. And that's how it started um, in 2003. We have young people come in that have all kinds of uh, things going on in their life and it would be so nice if they had a young person to, that they could communicate with. We're all full of brokenness and, um, and on Barton Street here we see that all the time. We see girls coming in who are working on the street and we see um, people who are out of work that are just feeling less than adequate. We see people who are lonely who just want to come down and hang out for the full three hours that we're open to have a coffee. Those are the kind of people that we see and those are the kind of people that we want to love on. The heart behind Helping Hand Street Mission was not something that was kind of uh, based on some sort of business plan or some model. I just felt like God had so saved my life that I wanted to tell people about that and I didn't ever want anyone to feel the way that I used to feel um, when I had to go to those places for free stuff, you know. I wanted there to be a space where people felt like they came home and just be who they were and not have to prove their income or lack thereof. Because poverty isn't just about not having stuff. It's about not having a community. I come in, uh, I uh, look something uh, and two, three uh, take and come in uh, that cash. I ask uh, how many I much pay me. They said no pay, this is free rent. I very happy, go home. My serious brother come after work. I say him what uh, I uh, find one uh, store, very uh, free, very happy, happy. Next day I quickly come here and say I'm sorry. It is uh, I not poor guy. It uh, I normal guy and please uh, t give it back. Maybe Helen. Maybe I don't know. No, 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 no. You are uh, now stay our friend and come and I continue come and come and come. We do our best to resource and you know, we have lots of programs and things going on but if you erase all of that none of it matters. What matters is is that people are coming here because they feel like they have a voice, they feel like someone really cares about their day and they're not just asking that question because they think they should. So it's more than just giving you know people who are poor tangible material goods, that's important. But if you give that without giving the love of Jesus Christ and the opportunity for them to really understand that, then none of it is worth anything, then we might as well just shut the door.